I'm hopefully going to show you why this Acer Chromebook 314 might just be the excuse you need to try Chrome OS, or it could be the ideal low-cost second machine. This particular model has the MediaTek MT8183 processor, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. It's got a Full HD IPS non-touchscreen, and it runs 32-bit Chrome OS. I tweeted back in July when I purchased this as a grade A1 refurb for just £96, that's about 113 US dollars. You may have seen my YouTube short and TikTok video at the time giving my initial impressions and now I've been using it for over a month, this is my full review. Links to all the videos I mention as usual are in the video description down below. My initial impression on unboxing and picking this one up for the first time is it's pretty light for a 14 inch Chromebook. That's partly due to the plastic body and the minimalistic features, for example not having a touch screen that certainly helps keep the weight down. It weighs just 2.84 pounds. On the right hand side you've got a single USB-A port and a Kensington lock port. Note there are no physical buttons as you may find for power or volume on other Chromebooks. This is a minimalistic entry level design and I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. The power button for example is instead on the keyboard. Over on the left hand side you've got the USB-C port for power and data and display out and I'll show you more on that later and you've got a headphone jack and a standby battery charge light indicator. On the bottom you've got four rubber feet and two speaker grills. I'll give you a demo of those speakers later on. No fans of course as it's a fanless machine running that MediaTek processor. The keyboard deck is nicely spaced with fair key travel, but neither the keyboard or the touchpad are the nicest to use, but they certainly do the job at this price point. By the way, if this video is proving useful, a like to help the YouTube algorithm would really be appreciated. And if you're not already subscribed and want to see more content like this, then go ahead and click and tick the bell to get notified when I upload. Performance is decent, I'll show you the boot up here and then I'll log in having entered the password off camera of course. Still loving this dark theme boot screen, such an improvement on the old one. I'm going to knock the screen brightness up to full as well so you can just see that this screen does get nice and bright and the viewing angles are good. And then once logged in I'm going to launch the Chrome browser and just show you a bit of the behaviour and performance there. But it's decent performance, it's the same MT8183 processor as you'll have seen in the HP 11a that's reviewed on the channel and the Acer Spin 311 and you'll also have seen a bit of gaming on those so it can certainly handle that. In a minute I'll give you a size comparison to the Acer Spin 311 too. The claimed 15 hours battery life probably isn't too far off either, I've certainly been getting close to that with what I would call general usage. Even at full screen brightness here the estimate is for over 10 hours. The 0.3 megapixel webcam really isn't up to much but it does the job and it's worth a mention. Before I show you how I use an external monitor with this machine as well, like my other Chromebooks, it's worth mentioning that this Chromebook will see updates to Chrome OS all the way through to June 2028, that's the AUE date. Make sure you check out my videos on how you can check that on any Chromebook you're going to buy. I've driven my 1080p HP monitor off of this Chromebook without any issue. I just connected up via my USB hub for power, peripherals and display. So there's just one connection needed into the Chromebook when at my desk. I'll link to the video on the Lemerel hub down below if you're interested in that. I'll give you a demo of the speakers next from an outro of one of my other videos. They're positioned on the bottom of the machine as you saw earlier so they do get loud enough but the quality isn't that great as you may expect. A bit tinny with no richness or bass. Let's have a listen. If you find I said I'd show you a size comparison, so here it is, the Acer 314 14 inch up against its smaller sibling, the Acer Spin 311 11.6 inch Chromebook. That one's also convertible, but it just gives you an idea of the footprint and you can see how similar the general design is. I'll link to the review of the Spin 311 in the video description as well. And if you want to compare against a more mid-range 14 inch Chromebook, then definitely check out this next video on the HP X360 14B. Cheers.